One of the few plants native to Macquarie Island is dying out. While scientists try to work out why, efforts to save the subantarctic species are being frustrated by a lack of funding. The plant, known as Macquarie Cushion, once thrived on the subantarctic island. Recently, though, it's been declared critically endangered. Which is always a worry when plants go from healthy to critically endangered in such a short period of time. Scientists from the Australian Antarctic Division first noticed the plants weren't coming out of their usual hibernation in 2008. Since then, the Macquarie Cushion has been dying. We're asking lots of questions. We're asking if it's a disease, um, asking if it's parts of physiology, obviously things changing on the island. We don't yet have the answer for that. Nine seedlings are housed at the Antarctic Division's headquarters in Hobart. A seed bank's also been set up at the Royal Tasmanian Botanical Gardens. But horticulturalists are finding the cushion difficult to germinate. Some plant species are really, really dormant, so the actual trials themselves can take somewhere between two years just to run. Currently, the gardens use these two refrigerated shipping containers to store subantarctic plant species. But what's really needed, researchers say, is about $200,000 in federal grant money to help construct purpose-built facilities. Up there, it's freezing cold, very strong winds, um, sort of mist all the time. Um, so, yeah, we, we just can't mimic it here. The gardens has applied for federal funding, but conservationists are worried that given the speed of the plant's decline, time isn't on their side. Tyson Shine, ABC News, Hobart.